Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Wonderbook Book of Spells. Moving on to Chapter Five. You're part nearly one. there. Are you ready for the final test? Chapter Five, Part One. We've reached the final chapter. Are you Indeed. ready? Yes, I am. I was born ready. This final chapter covers powerful dueling spells. There are those who believe that magical dueling should not be taught to young witches and wizards. I think it's important However, to know how to defend yourself. However, it is yourself. an unfortunate fact that the wizarding world is a dangerous place. The spells in this chapter will allow you to counter some of the dangers you might face, allowing you to destroy obstacles and disarm hostile wizards. And finally, you will learn a powerful protective charm, which will require all of the magical skill you have learnt so far. Mm. You're close now to proving yourself an accomplished witch or wizard in your own right. Steady nerves will see you through. Look at that. Another collectible? You've come a long way. Now is your chance to prove all your magical skill. Turn the page to begin. The Disarming Charm. If you have to combat dark magic, then this spell is a vital part of your arsenal. That's it! Let's have a look. The disarming charm will cause an opponent's wand, or in fact any item that they're holding, to fly out of their hand. Historians disagree about the origins of this charm. Some claim that it was invented by Merlin himself. Oh, good old Merlin. Others, that it was in widespread use in Madagascar as early as the 11th century. Interesting stuff. Ah, another story. A famous duel with the disarming charm, perhaps. Pull it up to read, or turn the page to learn to cast the spell. Let's read the story, Settle guys. Down and prepare to be entertained and educated in equal measure. Fancy reading a story about this spell? Remember, you can always cancel a story anytime by holding circle. In the opinion of the author of this book, the most likely originator of the disarming charm was a young witch called Elizabeth Smudgling, who entered a dueling contest on Dartmoor in 1379. Contestants had come from all over Europe to compete in the contest, which was held at night far away from curious muggles. Oh, it'd have to be. According to contemporary accounts, the dueling was of a standard that few had ever seen before. And finally, only four competitors remained. Three wizards and the English witch, Elizabeth Smudgling. The judges of the competition, warlocks and sorcerers of several nations... <laughs> made speeches to the final four contestants before the last three duels were to start. Think big, they cried. Think bigger than you have ever thought before. Let us see this night, magic on such a scale that future generations will envy us for having witnessed such greatness. The first semi-finalists then moved out in front of the crowd. Mindful of the advice to think big, the first wizard transformed himself on the spot into a bull. Ready? There we go. This isn't good. Can't disarm a bull. Rip its horns off. And That's charged not good. the second. <laughs> Not, who it seemed not, um, would be animal killed, friendly. but thinking quickly, he changed himself into a... What would you transform into if you were being charged by a bull? Pull one of the tabs to decide. 
I don't even know what that is, but I'm gonna choose it. <laughs> no, no. It's <laughs> not the right Oh, word. it's that thing from a couple of episodes ago. Yes. Viper. Thinking quickly, he changed himself into a viper. Which bit the bull on the leg and sent it crashing to the ground in agony. Bye bye, bull. The second wizard then took on the third. He caused a great storm cloud to descend from the sky. And his opponent was drenched in icy rain and forced to dodge lightning bolts. Until he had the clever idea of summoning a powerful cyclone. Heal the wrath of the cyclone! Which blew away the storm, but took with it the judges, most of the crowd, and many trees. Got a bit carried away then. It took a few hours for everyone to reassemble. Everyone was now a little afraid of what the third wizard might do for an encore. And the judges earnestly tried to dissuade Elizabeth Smudgling from fighting him. And told her it might be easier if they simply awarded him the cup without anybody else getting hurt. Elizabeth, however, refused. On the count of three, the wizard opened his mouth wide to utter a long and complex incantation that would, if he had finished it, have caused a mountain to erupt out of the earth and collapse on Elizabeth's head. The only problem was that she had already said a quiet expelliarmus and removed at once the source of all his power. Expelliarmus! Elizabeth was awarded the title of Supreme Jeweler, and the disarming charm at once became one of the most important in any jeweler's armory. Interesting story. Oh, what a story. Ready to try the disarming charm for yourself? I am indeed. You've learned all you can about the disarming charm. You're ready to learn how to cast it. Turn the page. Where's the spell incantation? Pull up the glowing picture to start learning it. Let's write this down. Expelliarmus. Goodness, you'd better put out that fire. Your water spell would make quick work of this. Hang on, what is it? Uh, I don't think that'll work. That fire needs to be dealt with. I think Aguamenti might be useful here. Well done. There we go. Good as new. Fortunately, your book is protected by powerful enchantments for exactly this reason. Now, if you've quite finished fooling around... Here we go. Expelliarmus. The incantation for the disarming charm is Expelliarmus. Speak it clearly and use it wisely. Got that? Try to yeah. speak the incantation for this spell. Three, two, one, go. Expelliarmus! Brilliant. You've certainly mastered the incantation, so let's move on to look at the spell's gesture. Time for the wand gesture you use to disarm an opponent. Pull it up from the page. The wand movement to disarm is a quick, straight wand move to the right. Ideal for reacting quickly in battle. Well done. Now make the gesture once more, this time from memory. That's it. Right. To disarm opponents, you flick your wand. Excellent. That's the way. When you've got the hang of it, you can just hold the circle button to move on. 
Aha. Let's move on. Another of our mysterious notes left by our even more mysterious student scribbler. You can pull it up with your wand or turn the page if you want to move on. You're good. Interesting. We're back in the greenhouse, and here's a niffler with... Is that a galleon? Oh, ho, 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 excellent. You gave the furry thief the fright of its life. Nicely done. Look at him go. Oh, ho, 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 there we excellent. Go. You gave the furry Those coins are mine. Another galleon rescued. Wonderful spell casting. You saved another galleon. Nicely done. Look at him go. Watch out. That Niffler's after a dropped galleon. Wonderful spell casting. You saved another galleon. Watch out. That Niffler's after a dropped galleon. Nicely done. Look at him go. 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 Another galleon rescued. Another galleon rescued. Oh, ho, ho, oh yeah. excellent. You gave the furry thief the fright of its life. That should be Brilliant all of them. disarming. You'll need another trip to Gringotts now. You're getting the hang of disarming. Turn the page to face some real opponents. Okay. Let's do this. Now let's see if you can use the disarming charm in the heat of the moment. When you're ready, steal your nerves and pull up the glowing picture. When learning defensive magic, there is no substitute for practical experience. As before, you will practice this spell in a space created by your book, with opponents who will be doing their best to jinx and hex you. Focus on Expelliarmus for now. You won't be able to use your other dueling spells in this practice. Okay. Sounds like a challenge. That? Right. Prepare to duel. Ah, yes. I'm ready. Wander the ready now. Prepare for combat. Stay focused and you'll do me proud. I know it. Watch out! There's one! Look out! Last the way. Brilliant disarm. There we go. There's one! Brilliant disarming. Now's your chance. Beautifully disarmed. I'm doing pretty good so far, guys. Nice. Hopefully I'll get full 15 points this time. There's one. I think that was the last one. Watch out. They've got friends. There's one! Beautifully disarmed! Nice! Lovely spell work. Oh, got me then. There's one! Brilliant disarming! Excellent cast! Come on, who's gonna pop up? You! Brilliant disarming! Lovely spell work. I think that was the last one. There we go. I got hit once though. I just flicked it too high up. Another wave of opponents. Get him. Well done. That's the way. They're taking aim. Lovely spell work. Look oh, out. it's awkward to get that one. Beautifully disarmed. Watch out. Beautifully disarmed. Okay, so I'm flicking too high for the They're one in the right corner. Beautifully disarmed. 
Watch out! I think that was the last one. Oh, you're getting the hang of it. Are we done? That's it. Yay! The Let's see how we well did. Done. You've become a formidable duelist. Take 15 house points. Nice! I've still got 15 points, guys. That's great. Oh, goodness. There's more to read about this spell if you want. Pull up the note if you're in the mood. Or you can just turn the page. The disarming charm is central to formal wizard dueling, where disarming one's opponent is considered an honourable victory. Unfortunately, real duels are rarely honourable. Hostile or dark wizards will certainly use every unfair tactic against you. And this is to say nothing of your fellow students. Next page. Let's find out how you did. You've really mastered this spell. Fifteen house points. Great. Full fifteen points, guys. I've already said that. <laughs> I think. Yes, I did. Now you've mastered this spell, time to move on to the next. A powerful curse. Turn the page. Oh, the Reductor Curse. It's dangerous, advanced, and not to be taken lightly. Still, I'm sure our esteemed author had good reason to include it. With this powerful curse, skilled wizards can easily reduce obstacles to pieces. For obvious reasons, great care must be exercised when learning and practicing this spell, lest you find yourself sweeping up in detention. For it's all too easy to bring your classroom ceiling crashing down, or to reduce your teacher's desk to a fine mist. <laughs> In other words, no messing about with this curse, or else. Good work. Oh, another scribble in your book. Let's take a look. Just hold still where I can see you to find out what the spell does. I'm sure it's safe, or at least not permanent. Oh, that's no beauty spell. Oh, that's my a God. stinging jinx. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, the swelling <laughs> will go down shortly. It's quite funny, actually. Well, you won't be winning Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award I'm hideous! <laughs> My face is swollen. Oh, that's no beauty spell. That's a stinging jinx. Don't worry, the swelling will go down shortly. I think it's gone now. It's gone now, narrator. There we are. You can barely see the swelling. I hope you've learnt your lesson about using strange spells. Anyway, now that unflattering moment is behind us. Turn the page and let's use the Reductor Curse. Or I suppose you could try the Stinging Jinx again. We'll learn the incantation first. Pull up the illustration on the page. So, Reducto. Reducto! The incantation Reducto will give you the power to blast solid objects out of your path. Got that? Now you yep. speak the incantation for this spell. Three, two, one, go. Reducto! Wonderful! You've learned the incantation, so the spell's gesture is next. Pull up the gesture diagram to learn to cast the spell. The Reductor Curse requires two sharp slashes downwards. To the right, then to the left. Good. Do that once more, but this time without any help. Excellent wand work. To perform the Reductor Curse, just flick your wand towards an object. Oh, here we go. Another test. Aha, Excellent, the guys. Book's taking us somewhere you can try this dangerous curse out safely. Looks like the perfect chance to practice your reductor curse. Start destroying those rocks. It's 
Is that it? Oh, you've made short work of that. You've got a knack for curses. Looks like all that cursing has shaken something loose. We'll be trapped. Use your curse to blast those rocks out of the way. Keep at it. Well done. Good shot. Let's explode them all, guys. Don't want to be buried alive. Oh, my wrist's hurting. Keep at it. Good shot. Come on. Must be, uh... Nice. Oh, my Ready poor wrist. Nice. Whew. We're clear. Nicely done. Oh, phew. Good. My poor wrist. Splendid! I think your work on this spell is done. You'll need to close the book and select Chapter 5, Part 2 to move on. Are you ready to learn your final spells? Okay guys, so I'll stop this episode here and we'll be moving on to Chapter 5, Part 2 on the next episode. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time guys.